Hi everyone, welcome back to S2CS. As you can see in today's video, I am going to discuss about C++ programming language. In that, we are going to discuss about variables. So let's start. So what are topics we are going to cover in this video? What is variable in C++? Variable declaration, variable initialization, rules for naming variable in C++ and types of variable that is local and global. So what variable is? It's a name given to the memory location. Basically, why they are used? They are used to store data values. The value stored in variable can be changed. So it got the name variable. Now see here, I want to store the value 10 in this particular memory location. So if I am not giving it a name, I will not be able to easily locate my data. So I am naming it as a so now we can make it sure that the variable a stores our value 10. So a is the variable or a name given to any memory location. Clear? Next is the syntax for variable declaration and initialization. How you are going to declare a variable? Data type variable name. Data type will tell you what type of data you are storing. So your int num. So integer data that is of number. So num will be storing the number data. Second, how you are going to initialize? You have declared but now you are assigning some value to your variable or I can say we are storing some value into your variable. So data type variable name is equal to value in num is equal to 5. Next, there are some rules which you have to follow <clears throat> while declaring the variables in C++. So I also provided examples with each rule so that you can easily understand the rules. First is a variable name can only have letters, numbers and underscore symbols. See the valid declarations here. Num. Second one, a variable name cannot begin with a number. So this is not valid in C++. Third one, a variable name cannot begin with a keyword. Now there are some fixed words which you use in C++ and you can't use that words as the variables name, variable names like for, if, int. Okay. So you can pause the video and go through each and every rules if you want. Fourth one, a variable name cannot contain white spaces and special symbols like at the rate hash. You, can, you, you can't use the such symbols or you can't leave spaces between the variable names. See, these are invalid in C++. Fifth one, try to give meaningful names to a variable. Why we are trying to give meaningful names? So that the user can easily understand what you are <coughs> trying to tell. For example, for age, use age only instead of a. Sixth one, variable names are case sensitive in C++. So, small letters and capital letters both have different meanings in C++. Next are the types of variables. So, there are two types of variables, local, global, which we are going to discuss in our today's video. So, first is local variable. So, any variable that is defined within a block function or method is called local variable. They are accessible only within the block and gets destroyed when block ends. Now, we will see this through an example so you can understand it more clearly. See here, there is a main function here. Okay, It's a block or I can say it's a main function where inside this, inside the braces, I have declared a variable num which is storing the value 5. So, now this is inside a block. So, this is a local variable and um is our local variable and its scope will remain until this main function ends clear about the local variable next is the global variable any variable that is defined outside all the functions or blocks is called global variable now that we have seen it was declared inside the main function but here it is declared outside the main function num is declared outside the main function and here m is our local variable because it is declared inside the main function so that is the difference between the local variable and global variable so if you try to print m you will get the value 5 and if you try to print num using scope resolution operator now what this operator do we will cover it in our next topic now we just understand we are accessing the global value num through this operator so i hope you are clear about local variable and global variable so thank you for watching if you have really liked this video i will be covering more programming uh, 
topics in near future so please like the video share and subscribe the channel i will meet you in my next video till then bye